there are three kinds of keys that you use most often to put graphics over top of live video. The first and simplest is Luma key, the second is Chroma key, and the most complex of those three is a linear key or alpha channel. So what are the differences between those and how do you use ProPresenter or other graphic software and a video switcher to put all those in? Well, let's take a look at it. First off, right here I have ProPresenter up and we're sending out just a black background. You'll notice it's got this checkerboard pattern indicating that it's transparent in the software, but what it's sending out is a black background with white text. So, here in the ATEM Television Studio HD software, I go in and uh, in the upstream key I select Luma, I put key in, fill, fill and key source as the same thing, that's max screen number one, which is uh, this source right here. So I've got that set up. And um, then what I'm going to do is um, it's basically set up. I've already adjusted the clip and the gain so that I get a pretty good signal. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to transition to all that here in just a second. So next I'm going to put in key one and I've got a um, I've got that signal up. So now when I hit cut we should see a shot of my set with its wooden background and this keyed over top of it with the black removed. So let's do just that right now. Imagine that instead of that piece of paper, that's someone's white t-shirt. So I've got a white logo on my t-shirt there. And you can see that that's a problem. So going back to the desk where I have everything, let's talk about the second kind of key and how to deal with that. So now for this time, we're going to go to Chroma for the upstream key. I've already got that set to green. I've uh, tweaked these settings to where it gives me a good uh, contrast, removes uh, the green really well. And now I'm going to go to this. And so when I do that, you see that I've got a brilliantly green. That's, in fact, uh, red, green, and blue, the primary video colors. I have zero red, zero blue, and 100% green. So it's as green as it gets. So that's going out. I've got a black background. Now, if I'd tried to do this with a Luma key, it would have left the green and pulled out this black. But since I'm doing this with a chroma key, it's going to remove this green. So let's... Um, Go and let me cut and show that to you. So you see here that we have that uh, just perfect black bars behind that. And so that solves that problem. But what if instead of those solid bars, what if you wanted a gradient? What if you wanted it to start black on one end and slowly fade off to the right? Well, let's do just that. So we're back here in our interface and I have set up an alpha channel key over here on this particular slide. So I'm going to click on that. And for some reason my preview isn't uh, updating here. But, you can't actually tell what it looks like right here. But, let me show you what the 
two downstream key um, signals look like. So first off, I'm going to scroll down here to key one, because I have that already set up. And I've got uh, my fill source, which is just the normal one that you see up here. And then I have my key source, which has, it's like a mat in Photoshop. It's a um, black and white image. And I'll show that to you here in just a second. So let's, first off, I'll show you what the, um, what the fill source looks like. So just coming directly from it. It looks just like white text on a black background, but that's not actually what I'm sending. If I show you the key source, you'll see this kind of looks funny. Why would I do that? Well, the way an alpha channel works is whatever is white is opaque, whatever is black is transparent, and whatever is a gray is various layers of translucency. So, if I show you what it's like when I have this totally put in, let me cut to that, and you'll see that, again, same background, black on the left hand side, a black bar under amazing. On the right hand side it's totally transparent and in the middle it's translucent. So let me step in front of this. Again I don't have my lights on so this isn't the best camera shot. It's not the best everything. I just wanted to show you how this works. So here we are with that. So if we go back to my control screen, you can see that using these three methods, each has its um, positives. First off, with with this one, Luma, I'm just very simply removing black. That's nice and easy. Unfortunately, if someone is wearing white or you've got a bright area of the shot, the white text can bleed into that, as I showed you with the piece of paper and my shirt. Second, we have chroma, and this gets rid of the green, allowing me to use both black and white, but I can't do something semi-transparent. I can only do opaque like the black and white here, or transparent, like the green, once it runs through the switcher. So, that's better, but the best way to do it is with alpha. Here, and what I'm doing is I'm sending two signals into my video switcher, and if I were to, let me click on the editor, because I want to show you what that actually looks like. So we've got the indication of transparency here. So what I'm actually sending as my regular uh, fill source is this just black background, white letters, and the black background slowly fades out towards the right. It's a gradient from black to transparent. So there's a little bit of translucency in the middle. The downside of a Luma key, though, is that it requires more expensive equipment. Because at the same time, I have to send two video signals. And there's this video signal and the one that I showed you 
uh, just a moment ago, which is the key uh, signal, which is this one. So when you're in here and you're doing alpha, remember you have two video signals and you need to make sure that you tell the switcher which is the fill source and which is the key source. The key source being the one with the mat, the black, black and white gradient mat that tells it what is transparent, what is translucent, and what is opaque. If you do those backwards, in this case, what we would see is it would look just like the Luma key, but in some others you'll get even funkier results. So that's why you would use Luma, Chroma, and Alpha for keying graphics over live video in your live production, whether it's with other software, or in this case I'm using ProPresenter 7.